Well, this is absolutely amazing. Underneath this black blanket, we have the R31, the Lotus Renault Challenger for 2011. But we've got about an hour and 10 minutes to go before the unveiling, and already a massive crowd have gathered here to see what's underneath the blanket. I'd, I'd lift up the blanket now, but quite frankly, we'd give the game away, and that wouldn't be a good thing. Eric Boulier, hey. team principal. How are you? I'm very well indeed. You're the man who knows what this car looks like already. Looks quite special, doesn't it? It is. It is. It is a big privilege, actually, and I'm very amazed as well to see all these crowd gathering around. It's a massive, massive. Just shows you the demand for Formula One and also for a bit of Lotus heritage as well. The, the, the black and gold livery has got everybody talking. Yeah, obviously there is. There was actually a, a great success in the past with a Lotus Renault on track, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, clearly emotional, you know, when you bring back these colors and this livery on uh, on track. Uh, personally, I mean, it's, uh, I was maybe too young to get this uh, emotional uh, feeling, but uh, I'm, I'm the, like, the car looks amazing, and I'm pretty sure uh, all fans of all over the world will uh, love it. It's quite a big year for the Renault team with the Lotus investment and the partnership now. Uh, you've got quite a bit of backing, quite a bit of clout as you go to uh, challenge those on the grid against you. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, I think we have, we have shown uh, that uh, we can be competitive and, uh, and uh, challenge actually some of the big names. And uh, I'm very proud to have a Proton and Lotus name back, uh, back on track. And uh, having the support of a new manufacturer in F1 is clearly uh, a, big, a lot of pressure, but it's uh, clearly also a big advantage to go and fight the big guns. Of course, the one thing you have got is consistency, I suppose, where it counts, and that's behind the wheel. Robert Kubica and Vitaly Petrov retained. I think part of the part of success, it's uh, stability and uh, and keeping the driver lineup. Uh, it's uh, it's part of the process to build uh, to build something successful. And uh, we hopefully we hopefully expect these uh, two drivers to to complete themselves and uh, to bring uh, satisfaction and success. So, what are your ambitions? What are your goals? So <laughs> tell us, what have you told the drivers that you need to see in 2011? I just need them to do their best and uh, to drive their best and to commit their best. As I know the whole factory and uh, Lotus and everybody will, uh, will back us up on this and will uh, be very committed. If uh, everybody is pushing hard, I'm pretty sure it will be a very nice surprise. And you're a real racing man. You've been involved in, in all sorts of series for, for many, many years. Will there be a, a tear in the eye? Should this car get to the chequered flag first, win a race? I think my first win in Formula One will be clearly uh, something very special because it's, uh, if you're a racer, you're here to win. And uh, in every category I've been working, I've been winning, and, uh, and uh, definitely we are looking for winning. So, but one win is uh, one day, and then the challenge is to win the championship. So give us a, a little sneak preview here then. Have you put the champagne on ice? Do you think you've got what it takes? Never. Uh, until you see the checkered flag on your car, you can't celebrate anything. In which case then, we'll put the champagne away in the cupboard. Uh, good luck for this season. Thank Eric. you very much. Really good talking to Thank you today. You. And I just can't wait to see what's underneath this black blanket. Um, give it an hour and we'll all have the reveal.